Hello, my viewers and subscribers. Welcome to another episode of Jamaica Politics Uncovered. New subscribers, welcome. Returning subscribers, welcome back. So guys, I am going to compare these two men today. And I'm comparing them because they are probably the most high profile cases that we've seen in recent times. And their cases are similar. So I'm going to tell you a bit about each of them and then we'll talk about what makes the cases so similar. So the man on the left is Jolian Silvera from St. Mary, Jamaica. And the man on the right is Alex Murdoch from South Carolina, United States of America. Let's start with Jolian Silvera first because he's most recent. So as you guys know, if you've been following the news cycle, whether you're in Jamaica or you're in the diaspora, you will know that Jolian Silvera is currently in police custody, charged with the murder of his late wife, Melissa Silvera. Jolian Silvera comes from an affluent family in Jamaica, in the parish of St. Mary. His mother is an English woman and his father, Ian Silvera, a family of landowners and banana farms. So Jolian Silvera is a land developer and he was a one-term member of parliament for Western St. Mary between the years 2011 to 2016. He served with the People's National Party and he's still a member of the People's National Party. And up until the time he was charged, he was a confidant and a campaigner with the current leader of the opposition, Mark Golding. Jolian Silvera, he married his wife, Melissa Silvera, in 2015, and they had four boys. If you watch Netflix, you would see the Murdoch murders, a southern scandal. Alex Murdoch is from South Carolina, from a family, an affluent family of lawyers and solicitors. He was accused of killing his wife and his son, he had an open televised trial following a series of events involving his family, particularly a boat accident involving his son, where a teenage girl died in a boat accident where his son was operating a boat while under the influence of alcohol. So leading up to that, there were just a string of events. I mean, this family was tied to several murders in murder investigations. And in addition to that, he was also charged with fraud and defrauding his own clients as an attorney. And so he was found guilty for the murders of his wife and son, which was a cover up to begin with. And so he was found guilty for that and also uh, for the fraud charges involving his clients. So what makes this case so unique with Jolly and Silvera is that this is the first time in the history of Jamaica that we have seen a former or sitting member of parliament or someone so close to the uh, leaders of the major political parties been implicated, suspected and charged for murder and the murder of a wife or a spouse. So as I've said, Jolian Silvera is from an affluent family in Jamaica. It was initially reported, guys, that his wife died last night as the opposition leader announced. And it was said that she died in her sleep. She died from an aneurysm. And then when the autopsy was done, there were three gunshot wounds. It is alleged that the police suspected Something was wrong when they went to the scene initially. They saw bloodstains and renovation in progress in the bedroom. The ballistic report came back positive for the weapon that was used in the murder of Mrs. Silvera, that it's connected with the firearm that her husband owned. Also, guys, the case involving Jolly and Silvera is also unique because... It is not only a murder, guys, which happened in just in the confines of his home. The investigation involves member of the People's National Party, to which Jolian was a member or is still a member, 
including the opposition leader, including close friends and associates of Jolly and Silvera. So it was an elaborate murder cover-up involving the opposition party. Guys, this is an unprecedented crime cover-up, an elaborate one, first seen in the history of Jamaica. Melissa Silvera was the niece of the former Prime Minister P.J. Patterson of the People's National Party. The case has been pretty high profile. Everybody's been watching and calling for transparency, especially in the court proceedings. And I'm talking about everybody as in members of the society because the political apparatus in the country, they have been mainly silent. Jolian Silvera attended the funeral of his wife, Melissa Silvera, of the 14 sitting member of parliament of the PNP. No other member of parliament except for Anthony Hilton on your right screen attended the funeral. Everyone else stayed away. A tribute was sent by the former Prime Minister, PJ Patterson, uncle of Melissa Silvera. Jolian Silvera was arrested and charged days later because he was asked to turn himself in and he refused. So the police arrested him and charged him for the murder of his wife and for the weapons charges, which is tampering and also using a firearm to commit a felony. Tell me in the comments, guys, if you can see the similarities between the two cases and the individuals involved. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. See you in the next video.